You okay? Call 911! Oh, it's all right, honey. Uh-huh. Don't you knock? Oh, sweetheart, it's so good to see you. Mm. I love the bangs. Oh, thank They're you. They're really cute. Oh, hi, Patrick. Damn, I forgot how cool he is. Oh, sorry. Did you hear? We, we have a door now. Oh, that is so pedestrian. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I should have probably called first before I dropped in. Can we get rid of the evidence and close the skylight so whoever's following Mom won't know where she disappeared to? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's my girl. She's special. The best. Mom? Mm. Who's following you? Oh. Spies? Terrorists? This is such a cool place. Oh, thanks. Are you working with Dad? No. What's happening? I haven't heard from him in ages. Oh, Dad. I don't know. He is so deep, deep, deep undercover. It's something to do with black market alien remains. I don't ask. Actually, I just thought you and I should celebrate. It's not my birthday. No. I know. It's October, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Phew. No, I thought we should celebrate life. Because I missed you. And I wanted to make sure for myself that you're okay. I'm okay. So, I have these tickets, and you are coming with me. Uh oh. Tickets to what? To see Eli Love at the Life Beat concert. Front row! <sighs> you do look wonderful, darling. I was so worried when I heard that you'd been shot in that hostage situation. If there had been any way for me to get to you, I would have pulled you out of that hotel myself. You know I would. I know. Mom was caught in a cargo hold in the middle of the Amazon River that night. You told me. Well, there was no way to get out. I mean, there were no phones, no airstrip, nothing. And then by the time I got the message, it was over, and you had rescued her. You lovely man. <laughs> over the phone, no less. Uh, the pleasure was mine. Did they ever catch up with that psycho, James Craig? Did they uh, get him? You know what? It's kind of been a rough situation. Well, actually, they never found a body, but he could very well be dead. How did the Amazon go? Oh, the coup was averted. Anyway, then I heard about the concert. And, well, you know, back in the day, I had the hugest crush on Eli Love. <gasps> oh, good Lord! I mean, you have to admit that that was when I, I had very, very big hair and huge, you know, shoulder pads. You did? I did. So there was no accounting of taste. However, he was the standard of hotness. And as far as I can tell, he still has it. All that sexy charm. He's just cute. Yeah, time's a thief. You know, women, they just used to kind of, like, slingshot their knickers right up on the stage. I, I never did that. I never did that. Uh -huh. I did think about it, but I didn't do it. <laughs> and this concert, you know, it's for the AIDS charities, the life beat. I, I just think, how cool is that? It, it is cool, and, and I think it's cool that you came all the way out here to see the concert, except, well, there's not going to be one. Yeah, there is. I have tickets. Uh, you know what? Eli Love is a patient at GH right now. He needs surgery, so, sorry, there's not going to be a concert. Could you introduce me? Hi. Hi. Hi, you changed. <sighs> yes. Well, I could hardly meet the rogue of rock and roll in my work clothes, could I? <laughs> Well, I just thought maybe you wanted to take a rest at the hotel or something. Are you trying to get rid of me already? Oh, no, come on, please take me to see you. Like, please, please. Go on. Please. I happen to have a patient right yeah, now. Yeah, I, I I'm, I'm busy. Oh, you know what? You're just lame. Fine. It's not like I need a chaperone or anything. I'm a grown woman, for God's sake. Oh, my God, my love, I can't believe it. <laughs> Mom? Mm. Maybe I should show you where it is just in case you get lost. I broke into the Louvre, and I cracked the code at MI6. I can certainly find my way around this joint. So, uh, critical care wing. This way? Uh, no, it's... That way. Oh. They moved it. Please tell me she is too mature and sophisticated to fling her underwear at him. I can pretty much guarantee you she's not wearing underwear. I'm so sorry to intrude. <laughs> Oh, there's two of you? Wow, this is my lucky day. <laughs> I'm sorry, are, are, are you a friend of Mr. Love's? Mm, not yet. Uh, oh, Noah Drake? Huh, Anna Devane. Oh, oh, Rob.
Robbins then. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard a lot about you. We should get together and talk about those two crazy kids. Oh, um, can I talk to you just for a minute outside? Just come right back. Okay, stay there. See ya. <laughs> wow. Uh, here's the thing. This is incredibly vain, really stupid and silly and all the rest of it, but, um... I just, I just wonder if you wouldn't mention the fact in front of him that I have an adult daughter. How well, if you stop staring at me? Sorry, I can't help it. I mean, this is so weird. You know, I mean, everybody always says that we have a twin somewhere in the world. It just so happens I do. But you and Eli, uncanny. Well, actually, we're very different once you get below the surface, for which I am happy. Oh, no, he is so talented. Oh, my God, you just got to go to one of his concerts and find out for yourself. That is the plan. Oh, uh, you know what? I got to get this page. I have a feeling that we will meet again. Oh, yeah, no doubt. No doubt at all. Where's my doctor? Uh, he's left you in good hands. I'm so sorry you're in this horrible, horrible place. I'm Anna Devane. Yeah, I, I heard. Uh, Eli Love. Yeah, I know. Big fan. Huge fan. Huge. <laughs> there was a time that I saw every single one of your concerts. The Red Tide Tour, the Which Way to Forever Tour. And that was right after you released the triple disc retrospective that was brilliant. The first date was in San Francisco, huh? Right? The last gig, San Paolo. Huh. It was a worldwide tour. <laughs> yes! Well, I travel a lot for my work. Oh, I'm so sorry. I got, oh. I'm very presumptuous of me to be in your hospital room. So, what I was wondering... You know, if it wasn't too much, and if you didn't feel like I was imposing, or if you had a minute, or, you know, would it be possible? Yeah, it's not the first time I've been asked since I got into the hospital. Where do you want it? I don't have to worry about my mother. She's an adult, and she's not going to do anything to embarrass herself. Mother! I'm gonna wear this to the concert and then sign up! Please close your blouse. This is where I work. Sorry. Besides, Patrick told you there will be no concert. I wouldn't be so sure, Eli. And I totally feel I can call him that now. <laughs> well, he said that he thinks that there's gonna be a concert. There's every chance. Mom, he is a rock star, which means he's used to getting his own way. Okay, but he has an embolism. And unless Patrick goes in there and fixes it, there will be no more concerts. Oh, that's disappointing. Well, cheer up. Maybe Patrick will talk Noah into taking Eli's place on stage. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, they really do look alike. It's just that Noah doesn't have that indiscernible mm, something that separates rock stars from mere mortals. <laughs> he could be coached. I mean, it would certainly take a lot of work, but it's possible. Except Eli hates the idea of Noah taking his place on stage. And he refuses the surgery, which means that he could die. Oh. Let's see about that. Did you get a page, too? Yeah, what's going on? I have no idea. He's getting tests done. Oh, he's not, not back yet. Mom, you are not a groupie. You can't take souvenirs. Oh, don't be ridiculous. I'm trying to help you save a rock legend. How? Well, just quick thinking and other devotion. Ah, uh, so, drop your pants, sweetie. 